Today is part one of building an outfeed slash assembly table. So I've got a current setup that I'm, that I'm using now that I get a ton of requests uh, for a video or plans, uh, which I need. I don't have either for the particular table that I use today. Uh, but it, it's a great table, but I think we can make some changes and make it even better. So part one, I'm going to talk about the design, the new features, give you a live look at my current setup and kind of give you an idea of what's changing. I'll bring you into SketchUp, show you those changes in my drawings. Uh, I'm really excited about this build. It's going to be a great, great setup. Part two is going to be the build, the build process. And then part three, we'll do some demonstrations on different parts of the table and kind of give you a tour uh, of the whole thing. So first thing, let's take a look at the current setup and I'll talk about the changes that are going to be made. Um, and some things that we're going to be adding and then I'll bring you into SketchUp and let you actually see those changes in the 3D mock-up. Okay so on this side of the table we're going to keep the vise and dog holes uh, but there's a lot of wasted space here so we're going to add in some cubby holes and some drawers for this side. Okay so for the router side of the table we're going to keep the miter track and the T-tracks to attach the router fence. All that's staying the same. This is J-Bates design on the router. We're going to keep this in place it's a perfect fit for this table. Everything is compact under here. The lift bar works well. And we also have the removable cover if we just are using the table. And then we have the dust port lid that will go back, go in place there when you're using the router. So this is working out really great. So we're just gonna keep Jay's design into the table. Uh, so that will be incorporated. Now, as far as this space that you see around the router, um, of course, the cubbies, you'll see a wall here that'll give you some areas to hang things. Uh, but under here will give us an area to uh, store our router fence. There'll be, a, there'll, there'll be a shelf here. And also over here on this side, there will be some other uh, shelving area to store whatever it is that you need for the router, like router bits or um, different accessories, push blocks, and that kind of thing. So you can, cap, you can keep everything here at the table, at the router, and it works out really well. Okay, so here on the downdraft side of the table, we've got a few things going on. Um, the dust collection for the downdraft and the router will, will enter in the same area. So we'll have two blast gates under the table for those two things. Uh, this box will be a lot shorter. So we're gonna have uh, a lot more pressure in this box when we're using it. I'm gonna split this lid and that will be another option to you know you can put a solid panel and a smaller uh, pegboard panel to give you more uh, suction in a small area or you can use the whole panel for bigger projects but this box will be shortened so this is going to open up all of this we're not going to have these uh, supports all the way around uh, we're going to have uh, right below that box we're going to have like a pencil tray just kind of keep some things uh, like your markers, your pencils, small items that you reach for a lot. Uh, and then below that, we're going to have a, a shelf that goes all the way across the bottom to where you can store uh, off cuts of plywood and that kind of thing so they can lay flat. So you'll have the entire table uh, size underneath on a shelf to store, uh, have wood storage. And also there will be some, on the other side of that tool tray or that pencil tray, there'll be another little smaller shelf to store like jigs and things. So it's, I'm really excited about this. Let's jump in SketchUp and let me show you the actual table, what it's gonna look like. Okay, so we're back at the computer now. I wanna take you into SketchUp and just show you the full design and the features that we're gonna be building into the new table. So let's take a look. Okay, so this, what you're looking at here, is the uh, downdraft table right here at the top. So what I've got, I've got the same downdraft uh, table, the tool tray, uh, the two miter or T-tracks. I've extended those out a little bit to be able to move the fence back a lot more so you can run uh, dados on the router if you'd like to do that. Uh, and then also the, the miter track here for like feather boards or, or whatever. The, you know, any accessories that you have for your router. And this is where you would change out the uh, top for the router. So let me show you uh, real quick. Uh, just remove, um, let's remove this 
and so you can see down into the router cavity of course the router is not drawn into the picture but you kind of get, get an idea of what what I'm talking about there and like I said this is Jay's design um, that is the router okay so let's move back over here to the downdraft and let me show you this okay so right now we've got one solid piece of pegboard uh, I'm splitting that to uh, allow for if you wanted to take say uh, this piece out you can take this piece out and put a solid piece in here to give you more uh, you know suction on this side from the dust collection but in, inside this is what we're dealing with we've got a lot more shallow of a box we've got the the ramp down on the sides and then the dust port at the bottom so that's pretty much the same as far as the guts but the box is a lot shallower than um, the, the design that we've got now uh, and so you can change these panels out as you wish uh, and like I said the tool tray we uh, made this a little deeper uh, the other tool tray was working out just fine but I made this a little deeper here uh, we've got the vise over here and the dog holes along the other side uh, let's look at what's going on down below the downdraft okay so notice real quick that I've got an outlet built into the table uh, this whole frame is plywood design and so the entire table is made from plywood uh, whereas the other table is just a mix of woods kind of pieced together and you know I was building it on the fly which is the reason for no video or plans uh, but this one is um, going to be a lot different. We're going to video the process and also um, have plans for it. So right below the downdraft table, you can see it's a lot uh, less, uh, it's, it's a lot more shallow than the other box that, that I was showing you uh, over on the current table. So right below that, we've got this tool tray, uh, not a tool tray, it's a pencil tray, excuse me where you can keep your markers, your pencils, rulers, whatever. And I know this will probably get filled with dust and chips. It'll get dirty, but you know, it's, that's with anything, the tool tray, the same way. It's, it's not going to get filled up a lot unless you just got a lot going on on top of the table. Um, but with dust collection in place, it should control a lot of that. So, uh, I need this pencil tray. I'm storing pencils in my miter track. And so I have to move those when I want to, when I want to use that. Um, and then I find that, you know, sometimes I don't have what I need. So I want to keep a ver variety of markers, pens, pencils, rulers, uh, whatever else, you know, in this little tray, you can see what's in there and it's just really easy to grab. So that's there. And then right below that, we've got a couple of cubbies. Um, this being the sanding downdraft table, uh, we're going to keep our palm sander here. Uh, and anything else that you might need in this particular area, maybe a belt sander, uh, whatever. Uh, so we've got, also have drawers here in this area. Um, so we, we can pull those out. And then the way we have designed this, we've just, I've got uh, three quarter inch pieces of plywood as runners. So you can pull this thing out as far as you'd like. It will not tip because the runners will uh, sit on top and fit up against the bottom of the drawers but you can take this whole thing out and set it on top of the table if you keep a lot of random stuff in there so uh, that's that's nice okay so we've got two drawers there and um, let me see let me just show you guys let's take that take this bottom one out and then we'll give you an idea of what kind of measurement uh, how big these drawers are. So let's see. Um, uh, let's just do the tape. Okay, so we're looking at uh, roughly 15, 16 inches um, by 16 inches or so. And then the drawer is about three, a little over three, three inches deep. So, you know, it's going to store a lot of your sandpaper your 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 sanding disc uh, or whatever you need for this area uh, 
So I think that will work out good. Okay, so let's move along around to the other side. And like I said, here's an outlet for this table, table leg. For the router side, um, this is going to be Jay's router lift. We're going to incorporate that. We're going to keep that in place. Um, and I've kind of covered this area up top. Now, <clears throat> what's nice about this side is where I don't have any, where I don't have anything on my current setup. I've got uh, a shelf here that I can store a router fence, or I can store it down here. I can store the different uh, inserts that I need for this. My router bits. I can store down here uh, so I've got a lot more storage down here that I, I don't have now currently so we're gonna fix that with this new table and then the side of the cubbies that we'll look at in a minute we can hang our wrenches or whatever we need to you know to change out the bits um, or whatever else we want to hang there like uh, a miter gauge or you know some kind of sled or something I don't know whatever kind of accessories you have for the router can hang here um, so that'll be nice so moving on along to the other side we, we're keeping the vise and we're keeping the dog holes and we've got another outlet here and for this side we've got a couple of big cubbies here and then we've got four or more down below and then the idea for this that I my particular needs is that I need uh, a place to put my you know power tools like maybe a circular saw jigsaw um, you know uh, whatever a, a, you know any kind of other, uh, other sanders or uh, whatever else you may have a domino you know anything can go here uh, and then we also have the drawers uh, they're made in the same way so you can see the runners there that are inside and the box is made the same I think these may be a little bit uh, deeper they're four and a half inches deep and let's see what the size difference is I don't remember off the top of my head so it's gonna be uh, 17 inches or so wide and then we're gonna have uh, 17 by 16 so it, these drawers are a little bit bigger than the other drawers on the other side so that's nice. So there's going to be some some good storage, I think, in this table. Um, and then a couple of more things that we're changing is um, right now I don't have an outlet on this side of the table. This is the side of the table that the table saw will go against. Uh, but there's an outlet here uh, that you can plug up your uh, the, where the router will plug up and also the table saw will plug up. So you can have those permanently plugged up and on the router lift you can add a on off safety switch for that. So that is nice. And then on the bottom of the table we have this shelf down here. So the table is like 48 by something I have to look. But you can see this shelf. It's the entire uh, size of the table and this is to store like plywood cutoffs. Um, and that kind of thing or any kind of hardwood or whatever you want to lay flat so it doesn't curl or you know just current project stuff you have a place to put that and so on this side you have a little bit more room to store uh, off cuts or wood or whatever you want to store there so that's nice that's not wasted space um, and then I left a couple of inches down here to um, allow for leveling feet or uh, two inch casters or you know whatever else you guys may want to add to that so for the most part we're keeping all of the features that are in there we're adding in electrical around the table and the way that will work the dust collection will enter here and the uh, table will have a um, like an extension cord to where you can plug up to another outlet to give like if you wanted to you know move this around in your shop uh, it, for future use, you can just plug it up to an existing outlet somewhere, um, and that's the way that's going to work. So to give power to the table. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, that's going to be the table. I think it's going to be a great improvement as to what I have now, and I think you guys could really uh, benefit from having something like this because there's just a lot of storage in this table. Now, if you guys are wondering about 
drawing this or whatever, you can, I've got a, a course on um, beginner SketchUp on my website. So if you go to www.stoneandsons.net slash uh, courses, you can find a the beginner course for SketchUp there. And um, it's, it's affordable and easy to follow. And so we have like quizzes along the way to kind of keep you accountable. Um, so it's, it's like a, a video based self paced course. So if you're interested in learning how to draw, uh, you know, your projects to get, get going in the shop or for plans, uh, or whatever that looks like, uh, feel free to check that out at stoneandsons.net slash courses. So, uh, that's pretty much it on the table. Um, this is going to be part one for the uh, design, just kind of giving you an overview of what to expect, uh, showing you the features and that kind of thing. So uh, be looking out for this. Next week we'll start the build and then the following video after that will be the tour of the finished product and we'll look at the uh, different features and see how everything is stored and used and uh, it just, it's going to turn out really good. Now, one thing I will say when this is all said and done, the, uh, I've got a router fence that I have made to fit this table. So included with the plans, if you buy the plans for this, you'll get the router fence plan for free. Uh, otherwise it'll be a separate, uh, separate download. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you are looking forward to this as much as I am. Uh, this is going to be a huge improvement in shop organization uh, and just getting everything uh, organized in their, you know, workspaces like for the router, the downdraft, you know, uh, the drawers. Uh, it can just, it's got a lot of potential. So uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.